Hello friends, this is Priya. Welcome to ValueTrainings.com. We all are here for SOAP UI testing, right? But I'll start with the how the communication is possible today. So let's see how the communication is possible. So what I, I was discussing about the communication. So for the sake of communication, you need to know some of the jargons as I did explain within my last session about XML, JSON, REST, and SOAP or WSDL, WADL, URLs and many more, right? So I'll explain about the how the communication is possible. It's jargon. See here, I'll, the, my first topic for today is importance of SOAP and REST. So what is the importance of SOAP and REST? I did explain this thing also in my last session. So SOAP and REST are something, it's my protocol and the architecture. SOAP is my protocol and REST is my architecture. Okay, so this, these both are required just to make the connection secure. It's for secure connection. So where do we need security? Where do we need? If I, if I explain this thing with the help of a diagram, see, see if this is my browser, this is my server, and they both wants to communicate. Browser and the server. Browser did send a request and server is sending back the response, right? So browser is something which is going to send the request, it's a response. So they both wants to communicate. So if the communication they need, it should be secure. Okay, so the security, the work of security, it's done with the help of SOAP and REST for the secure connection. Okay, and what about the language? Which language they are going to use just to make the connection systematic? The language which they are going to use is XML and JSON. Or you can write XML or JSON because one of the language at one time we do need. Right? So now it's the for the systematic connection. So this is the requirement. This is the importance of XML and JSON and the SOAP and request. Now the next topic is how SOAP works with XML. Okay. So let's start with this topic now. Uh, it's about SOAP with XML and rest with rest with JSON. Okay, REST can also work with XML or you can say it's like this. But the working of REST with XML is same as the working of SOAP with XML. Okay, so now let's start mm -hmm. here. So let's see how they do, they both do works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so let's start. So if I said if it is a part of my browser and the server, then surely we are going to work within the XML request. Not only XML, it will be SOAP with XML request and SOAP with uh, SOAP with XML part of a response, right? So request is something which browser is going to send and response is something which server will respond back. Right, so this is the complete scenario, but we all know, I did explain about how XML looks, it's tag based language, start tag, end tag, but what about SOAP, we didn't discuss anything on this. So let's start with SOAP, how it looks. See, SOAP is something which will come in a, with a two parts of it, the first part and the second part. So let's see, what do we call? So the first part, the highest, topest level is about the SOAP envelope understand and the part which is present within the soap envelope is soap header and the soap body okay so header and body are a part of my envelope and this complete thing is uh, will, will going to be part of my soap with xml request and soap with xml response fine so this is about the XML and how it looks with the help of SOAP. 
so now what i'll show you i'll show you something which will make the concept more clear see here the first part is about the soap with xml how it looks when i set soap with xml then surely tags will be there but when i set soap then it will contain soap envelope soap body soap header can also be there okay some of the tags will also be there so one more thing what is present within the soap envelope and within the soap body what do you think what will be there and here and here nothing but tags see it's soap envelope tag will be there right soap envelope starts uh, tag starts from here and it ends over here with a forward slash the same thing for soap body also soap body starts from here and till this it's the values which are there within my soap body understood so this is all about how soap works with xml and if i say if i say the next topic how rest works with xml see as i said rest with xml is uh, works in the same manner now the json how rest works with json it is over here how rest works with json as i said in the last session i did explain about the key value pair how it looks uh, within double quotes will be a key and value will be there separated by a colon here is the value okay and now if i want to write if i want to write name as priya in the format of json so how i can write curly braces starts curly braces ends and here the key as name and the value as priya okay so it will look like this so this is all about how json looks now if i want to write the same thing as this as my okay let's do one thing if i just want to write the same thing which is present within the xml and which is present within the json so how i can write this is the complete soap request with xml and this is the request with json okay so what i am writing see this is the key and this is so there is no as much headache of tags in case of rest okay and so very easy to understand very easy to know so user id is the key and this is the value i don't need to i don't need to see if it is uh, ends or not so forward slash tag ends or not start tag end tag okay so rest with json is very famous okay so this is about the topics and one more thing i can't tell you no one can predict after looking into the uh, one of the request if it is request if it is if it is a response this is not our purpose it depends on the tool only okay so the last topic which i'll cover today is about if you remember about soap ui web service i did tell you in my last session soap ui testing web services testing api testing both all of these are same one more word one more jargon for this i can add as rest with json testing Okay, so rest with json means what when i am going to use rest as my architecture and json as my language to communicate then i'll say it's rest with json testing clear so this is all about the topics for today we are done okay. thank you